Hello, Aries. Um, I just dyed my, my hair, so that's why my hands are like this, so bear with me. But anyway, I'm going to get into some quick love messages, whatever the cards want to say. I'm jealous. I'm afraid you already are or that you will end up dating somebody else. I love you. There's someone new coming into your life. I'm trapped in a stagnant, unhappy situation. I'm drained and distracted. Gossip and rumors played a role in our separation. Hmm. Someone could have gotten in this person's head or they could have lied about um, you to this person and that could have created some... They could have fed on this person's insecurities, basically. I'm trapped in a stagnant, unhappy situation. I'm drained and distracted. This person, yeah, this person's in their head quite a bit. My life is busy and chaotic. I feel numb. I'm running on autopilot. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of really stressed out energy with this person. Trapped, drained in a stagnant, unhappy situation. You know, kind of uh, busy, chaotic. They're feeling numb, feeling like they're running on autopilot. Your energy draws me in. You're mesmerizing. You're beautiful inside and out. I feel like this person could be picking up on this energy too because we have, it's interesting, they have, I'm jealous, I'm afraid you already are, that you will end up dating somebody else. And then this card saying there's someone new coming into your life. So it's kind of one of those things where I feel like your spirit guides are working with this person to try to, um, your spirit guides and also just their own spirit guides are working with this person to try to um, help them get out of this, you know, busy energy stagnation, feeling numb, running on autopilot. They're trying to get them out of that energy and get them on track with their spiritual path and, you know, renewing their excitement for life again and, and you know, healing and, and whatever else they need in their life. But I th think they do feel this energy where their spirit, you know, for some of you, it's like if this person just refuses to get it together, if they just stay, if they choose to stay in this energy, if they choose to stay in their comfort zone and they, they're they not taking any action towards you, Aries, then I think at some point um, this person knows intuitively that your spirit guides are just going to end up bringing somebody new into your life. You know, somebody that will be assertive, somebody that will pursue you, somebody that will you know, be certain about you, somebody that will, you know, prioritize the relationship more. And so I think this person has that fear because they know that they're, they're kind of taking a long time to, to figure this energy out and get it together. Let's see what else they have to say. I don't feel like most of you are dating anybody right now though, but I think it's more like a future energy where they're, they're, because it's like someone new could be coming into your life at some point. I feel like your spirit guides are going to work with this person for a while first, but it's just like at a certain point if they're if they're not getting on board with their spirit guides, if they're if they're refusing growth, if they're refusing to step out of their comfort zone and take action, then yeah, I feel like your spirit guides might just, you know, they might get tired of of the situation and they might end up bringing somebody new into your life instead. You came on strong. I wasn't ready for it. I want to fix this, but I'm not sure where to start. There's that energy again. You have multiple potential partners. Your energy is magnetic. I think you're going through a glow up as well where you're just starting to, you know, manifest love in general. You're starting to align with that. You know, you're, you're opening yourself up. Um... So yeah, it's like almost like the spirit guides have, I don't want to say like a deadline. I don't think it's like that. I mean, I think, you know, growth is, it's it's not, it, it, you know, there's a lot of ups and downs when it comes to getting out of your comfort zone and healing and, and growing and becoming the person you want to be. It's not like, it's not linear. It's, it's not, it's more complex than that. So I think your spirit guides are going to work with this person, but it's one of those things where, you know, this person, you know, it's up to, it's free will. It's up to this person, whether they want that, whether they want to work with their spirit guides, whether they, they want this life with you, whether they want to step up and be assertive and take action, you know, 
And it's like they have the desire to fix this, but if they're not doing anything to actually fix it, if they're not taking those first steps, that's, I think, at a certain point, that's where the, you know, your spirit guides might start bringing other people in where they're like, okay, well, this person, you know, does want you. This person is ready. But, but I mean, the love is there. Um, I'm going to reach out. I'm just searching for the right words to say. I looked for love in all the wrong places. I'm romantic and I'm emotional. You usually I usually hide it well, but you bring out my softer side. I feel like you both bring out this this side of each other. You both bring out this gentle energy. It's like you both kind of like this feeling of of home. It's like you both kind of can't be that way with most people. You both don't let most people see that side of you. This could be someone like maybe you're both very, um, I just feel like you guys are different with each other. There's more of a vulnerability there. Whereas with most people, maybe you guys are more, I don't want to say cutthroat, but it's kind of, I'm seeing more like a king or queen of swords type energy where you guys might be, you know, more in a, it, it's like a different type of energy that you're in with most people. You know, but with each other, it's like you're in this more like king of cups, queen of cups, kind of more of a, a gentle, loving energy with each other. But yeah, it looks like this person, you know, they do want to reach out. They're just searching for the right words to say. I have commitment issues. I've gotten used to being alone. I feel you pulling away from me. I didn't realize what I had until it was gone. I want to take things slow and get to know you better. And I feel like you're open to taking things slow with this person. I think it's just the, I think the issue is that they just need to start, you know, because we have this card. I want to fix this, but I'm not sure where to start. I think the issue is they just, they have to take that first step towards you to get, to get things moving forward, you know, um, trying to get my life together so I can come to you with a stable love offer. Because I feel like you're, you're, you're patient with, I feel like you've been patient. I feel like you would be patient at least with this person, you know, as long as, even if you're, even if it's going slowly, as long as there's that open communication and they're taking the steps towards fixing it and they're showing you that. You know what I mean? I think the key is just even taking baby steps is that you need to see some sort of action. You need to see some sort of progress here. I'm working hard to remove all the obstacles that have been keeping us apart. Sometimes I cry over you. I've never felt this way before. had a huge epiphany you come off as uninterested and detached I don't know if I'm brave enough for this kind of love I regret what I said to you and you've been showing up in my dreams lately actually want to pull I'm not going to do this for most energy groups but I'm feeling really guided to pull some cards for this this right here what's going on with that seven of pentacles page of swords the devil the tower Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Okay, I see what's going on here. The Hierophant. Nine of Wands, Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords. Okay, so some of them think that some of them feel like you've come off like uninterested and detached and I'm, I'm trying to pick up on this energy as to why they would think that because we have also I don't know if I'm brave enough for this kind of love and I regret what I said to you I don't think it's that you're uninterested or detached or anything like that 
I feel like it's more... With the Seven of Pentacles, I think something happened here because we have Seven of Pentacles, which is like patience, perseverance, like putting a lot of energy and effort into something. Page of Swords. Swords can be messages, but but page, pages are or, or, sorry, pages can be messages, but swords can also be also be harsh energy. And with the devil and the tower here, you know, because the devil card is about um it, it's just it's it could be toxic energy, it could be, you know patterns it could be a number of things but it's also just with the tower here with this context I feel like this was a a message or some kind of communication or some kind of rejection here I feel like that this person put you through because I feel like you were trying to be patient and understanding with them and then there was some kind of harsh message here that just it was like a tower moment for you it was like it marked like a before and after in the connection. I think it was something that was really devastating for you. So I don't think that it's I don't think you're uninterested in this person. I think it's more that you're not willing to even if you're a man watching this, even if you're a male energies, you're not willing to take on the masculine role again, male or female, regardless of gender, you're not willing you're not going to be in this energy again. I mean, you're not going to be in this energy of like fighting for somebody and being patient and understanding when, you know, when it's when it's one sided, when there's when this is what you got hit with when you were trying to, you know, when you were trying to, to persevere here and and figure everything out with this person. So I don't think it's that you're uninterested or that you're detached or anything like that. I think it's more just you're not willing to be in masculine energy. You're not willing to um you're not willing to be the one to reach out first. You're not willing to be the one to plan things. You're not willing to be the one to say I love you and express emotion first. Um, you're not willing to, uh, you're just not willing to be in the masculine role anymore. You're choosing to be in the, the feminine role, which is a more, you know, feminine en energy is just as powerful as masculine energy, but the feminine energy, it's like, this is, this is feminine energy. This, she's feminine energy right here. This is, it's like receptive. You know what I mean? This she's not taking action towards anything. She's, she's waiting and she's letting people come to her. She's letting, She's, you know, she's, she's not pursuing anybody, but she's open to being pursued, but she's not going to pursue anybody herself. Um, but she is, but she is open to, to this, you know, to someone coming forward and to pursuing her and to, you know, taking action and being in that masculine energy. She wants to be in the feminine role and she's staying committed to being in the feminine receptive energy and, and letting people and letting things come to her instead of chasing them. Um, and this could also be something that you went through if it wasn't with this person. For some of you, this could just be something that you went through in the past where maybe in the past you really got your heart broken really badly and you know, you kind of just decided whatever it was, it marked a before and after period in your life where you're like, you know what, I'm not going to chase somebody like that again. I'm not going to be vulnerable like that again. I'm not going to put myself out there like that again, unless of course the person is doing the same for me, unless the person is, you know, like you're, you're, you're open to matching energy, basically. Like if this person says, I love you, you'll probably say, I love you back. If this person pursues you, you're going to give them whatever energy they're giving you. Um, if this person, you know, if this person love like, you know, loves you or wants to pursue you, it's like you'll 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 match their energy. If they're giving you just a little bit of energy, you're just gonna give them a little bit of energy or you're not even gonna entertain it. But if they're if they're taking steps and trying to, you know, make a real effort to to be in your life and to express emotion, then you're gonna be open and receptive and and express emotion back to this person. But yeah, it's basically and it's kinda like you want them to Eight of Pentacles is like studying and, and patience and perseverance as well. It's kind of like, you know, studying knowledge. Um, so I feel like this is also you learning to be in the feminine energy. It's like you learning to be in this new role where you're like, you know what, I'm not going to be that in the masculine role ever again. I'm going to be in the feminine role. I'm going to be in the receptive role. So it's a really beautiful thing that you're tuning into your feminine side and you're getting in this energy. Um, and I feel like the Hierophant, in this context, I feel like this is actually talking about you maybe possibly being traditional, 
where it's like, because the Hierophant, it can be society, you know, so social organizations, uh, learning, studying. We have a couple of cards about learning and studying. I feel like the learning and studying thing is also just saying it's like you want somebody that's going to study you, that's going to, you know, really want to know everything about you, really want to just completely know who you are. Um, I feel like this card is also talking about possibly some of you being traditional in the sense that you, you know, you want to be in the, the feminine role and you want your person to be in the masculine role in the sense of, you know, you want them to be assertive, you want them to chase you your, or to pursue you, you want them to step up, to to take action, to, you know, plan things, plan places for the two of you guys to go, to, um, you know, to take care of you, to take care of things. It's like, of course, in a relationship, you're going to take care of each other. But it's like you want to be able to be in this, uh, this energy and, and be, you know, taken care of and be, you want this person to kind of step up and be in that daddy energy, basically, you know, um, and you know that it's time for that. And you know, you're aligning with that, you know what I mean? You're kind of just, I'm kind of getting like a visual of somebody like a it's kind of like there's like I'm seeing like two thrones and I've gotten this visual before but I, whenever I get it I have to like kind of you know put it out there because there's a reason for it but it's almost like I'm getting like a like a throne for a king and a throne for a queen and it's like you're sitting on your throne as queen but you're not going to convince this person to be king it's like they're either going to step up and they're going to sit on this throne next to you or you know like we got in the cards before eventually somebody else is going to take that throne if they don't step up and take it themselves um, but yeah, it's like, you're wanting them to be assertive. You're wanting them to be dominant and take control in the right ways. Um, you know, you're wanting them to, you're wanting that knight of swords. It, it's like loyalty, honor, integrity, uh, knight of cups, um, you know, being pursued and whatnot and, uh, opening and, you know, heart opening as well. You know, you want them to express that that emotion to you and um and you know fight for this and make an effort for this. And I do want to say too that that feminine energy, because a lot of people think that like masculine energy is just like macho energy. That's that's not like a true alpha male is not um like those macho guys that are always competing with everybody and always just yelling and trying to talk over people that's not an alpha male that's somebody who's insecure a true alpha male is is incredibly sexy because it's somebody who knows how to take control and be really dominant and assertive in the right ways you know what I mean like they'll take care of things like this is the kind of person it's like you know you say you need something or something's going on it's like they're there they're gonna be they're gonna support you they're gonna they're gonna be the first one to to want to help you with that um, they're going to be the one, you know, planning trips and planning, uh, you know, wanting like planning events for you guys or planning on going places. They're going to be the one that's going to be messaging you and saying, good morning. Like, how's your day? Like they're going to be, they're going to take control and an alpha, a real alpha is going to take control and take charge, but in the right ways, you know, and you guys are going to be equals. And I also want to say that a true alpha, 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 ah, oh my God, a genuine alpha male has um has a good balance of feminine and masculine energies too where they know how to be dominant and assertive and get shit taken care of but they also know how to you know express their emotions and be gentle and be romantic and be vulnerable you know it's like the best of both worlds so I think that's what you're kind of aligning with here um but I feel like this person, I feel like this person doesn't recognize that, unfortunately. It's like they're not, they're just seeing it as like, oh, like this person's, you know, maybe you used to chase them in the past and you're just not the type of person to chase people anymore. You know, you're just not, um, or maybe you made an exception and you don't usually chase people, but you made an exception because of how you felt about them. But either way, you're not willing to reach out or to per, to be the one to make the first moves in the, in connections anymore. But, um, but yeah, hopefully they'll figure, are they going to figure this out? Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. Cause I mean, once they figure this out, it's like things can move forward because they'll realize that they need to kind of 
step up and be assertive and be the one to reach out first. And then, you know, it'll clear things up and I'll realize that, you know, you are actually interested. The love is actually mutual. You're just, you know, you're going to match their energy if they come forward. Yeah, it does look like they're going to, the chariot, the high priestess, I feel like their spirit guides are going to tell them this or intuitively they're going to get this message somehow. Um, especially if you're planting the seeds here, the star too, it's, it's, the star is about uh, like, you know, planting seeds. It's about like hope and faith. Um, so I do feel like somehow they're going to start having these realizations and these, the empress, damn the empress and the high priestess. Yeah. I feel like, okay. So what this, these, these are also the two most powerful women in the deck too. So I think they're also, I think another thing that's going to happen is I think that they're going to start seeing your glow up. And I think that's going to kind of make them realize like, oh, like maybe it's not that they're uninterested. It's just that they're, they're in this, they're going to see you in this, this feminine energy. The Empress is a very feminine energy, but she's just as powerful as the emperor, as the masculine, the high priestess, this woman is spiritual, intuitive. So I think that there's going to be something that's going to show them that you're kind of in this glow up, that you're, that you're becoming this person you're tuning into this energy and so I think it's gonna I think everything's gonna come together for this person where they're gonna have these realizations like you know that you're that you're just in this energy and they're gonna have to step up and kind of meet you where you're at so anyway I hope this helped you guys and as always if you want a private reading just email me my email is dragonenchantress at awol.com